Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. The situation the EFF finds itself in on this letter of apology from Naledi Chilwa is not a joke. And before I chop it down for you guys and give you one of the best videos that you will see about this situation, I want to start the video on a very light note because I'm a hip hop guy myself. Let me start this video on a very light note uh, so that the mood must not be all serious throughout the video. Listen to this. There are some talents that we wish we had. Orobots and Nakamu Tsoko tune into the beat. We won free pads. At least ideology regret. Cow marks for the juice for nine books and bell hooks for the news. If the ghetto could be found in the burbs, it would look like Brenda Fassi on the throne as the king of the world. But we know the battle to allow Kontleri Shebile Retoti. And despite all that, Reba Totsim Fazonyama mounting up from Syria to Congo. Fazonyama fisting up like Siminya Lintando. We are rounded up for economic freedom. 27th July, we toast it up like EF. F, yo, <laughs> happy birthday to the movement of the people, the movement of black women, the movement of black gays, the movement of black children. And this is how far we have come. And we are glorious. We are happy about it because in the seven days, uh, let's celebrate it in style. Let's celebrate like we know what it means. And we are still saying our land and jobs now. Happy birthday, EFF, yeah, too. Peace in Pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I be host King 053, Mr. Easy Imali, and we're back at it again with another one. And um, this time we have to go and see the EFF about this situation, about Usis Naledi. But um, I wanted to do a proper breakdown of the situation of Una Lady. Now, I want to take it to church. I want to take it to church um, and give you a video where Usisna Lady was attending a former church that I was also attending myself, the, the Malawi prophet Shepherd Bushir. She was in that church. She was prophesied and was told that she will be in parliament. And she came and gave a testimony that indeed um, what she has been praying for with her mother that she wrote on a piece of paper that the man of God prayed for has come to pass. Fake or not, I will explain uh, some other time how these people do what they're doing. Let's first watch that video. Again, I want to, I want to smooth you guys slowly into the serious thing so we started with the hip-hop rap nice skills from that lady showing excellent flow in that video now we're going to church and i want church to set the, the mood for the, the the rest of the video listen to this i was hearing you saying some wonderful stuff you wrote on a paper yes i i wrote on a paper uh -huh. um that i want to be a member of parliament and you didn't know what, what you, you you didn't know anything about that time or no nothing at all you know it's just something that i've always wanted after knowing that governance is my ministry so i've been having such ambitions but it was between myself and my mom and the god of major one you know so nobody else knew about this ambition besides that paper uh, your god and my mother I, I watched you, you were blogging about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, straight up. <laughs> straight up. Straight up, straight up, straight up, yeah. You blog about it. Of course, I mean, it's, say, it's a safe space to brag about the power of God here. I can't brag about it anywhere else. But yeah, you know, um, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a servant of the people and I understand that. But when I'm here in the house of God, I can say, look, you know, this is what my God can do, you know, level up, you know. <laughs> see, the most important thing ever to have, you see, people testifying. You see, before, before elections, 
We had all these politicians coming here. And after elections, they didn't come and testify. The Lord will bless you. He will make you a great leader. He will give you wisdom. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, Daddy Major. Take more wisdom. Listen, pick up. God will give you more wisdom. I receive, Papa. I receive. They may fight you, <clears throat> but they don't know how you went up with them. Yeah. Only your heart knows. Now, for those who might be living under a rock, you don't know who Naledi is. Naledi, I believe, was the youngest uh, person to be in parliament. She, she went into parliament in, in recent time anyway. Uh, at the age of 26 she was in parliament at 26 and um in this this was in 2019 she's a very young lady born in 1993 um she's she's what 30 93 yeah she's 31 years old this year uh very young vibrant lady now who's is not lady for those who might not uh, know she's the lady that was um part of the leadership that was leading FISMA's fall, uh, uh, FISMA's fall protest in South Africa, where young students were fighting for free education. There was like, the tuition fee is too much. We cannot afford this thing. NS was is fucking us up. Everything is messing us up. And now we want a situation where we want to learn for free because prisoners in South Africa, they're getting free education. Why can't we get free education? Must we go to prison to be able to get free education? Now, you know that that group was of Christmas for Abo, Bongin Kosi, and Abo, um, Tebo, Lamini, Abo, what was, what's that lady's name? Abo Nompumelelo and the other people. So... That's the that's the cloth that Una Lady comes from. She's a very vibrant lady. I told you guys, no revelation will come without the movement of youth. So any political party that you see that does not have a strong youth movement, forget about uh, that uh, the, that political party. So if we get into this letter that stirred up all of this commotion. And that, you know, that, that got us talking about this thing. I watched a lot of people talking about this thing. Uh, I'm not a person who's on, I, on, on Twitter a lot, on X. You guys can call on me. I think my, my handle is cause king said so. Something like that. I'll post it here if, if I get a chance. And um, that's where the letter was dropped. And the reason why she dropped this letter is because I think she was made to make a public apology for not attending um, the, the, I think the, the financial st uh, statement of Ino Kodongwalo or what on the 21st of February. Now she says, uh, she apologizes and says, listen man, I... I had to go and attend to my sick child. My sick child was um, uh, was with my mother, and she's four months uh, years, uh, four months old. And I want to. I went there to go and attend because she was not well. And she, she says um, she did not use the proper channel. So she told her other colleagues. But then did not use the proper channel. There is someone that you need to uh, uh, report to, and she did not use those channels as a member of parliament. Um, she, she then on the letter goes and says things that I believe she knew what the impact of those things were. Now, uh, again, we have to remember she's 31 years old. But 31 is not like 21. You know, when you are 31 years old, especially on social media, you took your time to type that message. So she knew what she was typing. You know, she, she can come up and say, no, it, it, I did not mean it that way or whatever. But she knew what she said after that apology, saying that I took, 
I, I put my organization ahead of me uh, to such a point that I, I took maternity. I went to maternity a day before I gave birth. Why are you highlighting that? There is a reason why you are highlighting that. Yes, she might have got um, a, a fright on her. Um, she might have underestimated the level of impact it will have. Because in South Africa, you have women in workspaces that are treated unfairly uh, strictly because of this reason. Of we want production, you are pregnant, you are giving birth. You have children, you are giving us problems. We men don't experience those problems. Our wives are at home taking care of our children. We are here in this organization. We want results, 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 results. It's the organization before the people. So you are disturbing us with, um, with your pregnancy. Most organizations are like that. Not necessarily saying that the EFF is like that. Um, but the EFF did not help its cause also by the way uh, uh, Judas Malema responded, of which I will get to at the end. Now, she says, listen, I took maternity a day before. A day before I gave birth. How can you do? How can an organization allow you to walk around with that tummy like that? That is endangering um, that woman. Uh, <sighs> For her saying that it was it was really a dangerous move for her, you know. But I think, like I said, she's a young girl. She's a young girl. She she was in her emotions. You wouldn't see a forty year old girl uh, speaking, a uh, forty old lady speaking like this. This uh, young lady, uh, it did not sit right with. Um, it did not put the party in good light. I believe. Um, like, listen, I'm not saying she, she was not supposed to say what she said. I'm saying because you said what you said, now you have to face the reactions from femin feminist uh, nonsense, rubbish uh, groups that are going to now um, ride on that wave. They're going to ride on that wave because all of them, you are an MP, number one. You are an adult, number one. Uh, you know, you, you know the power of words. You are a rapper. You are a rapper, so you, you are a writer, in other words. So you know the power of words. And I think um, by the time where she was writing it, she was emotional and she let her emotions go out on that tweet. So for me, um, she and you know, she's a person that understands that the organization comes before her. I know she, she, she knows that because I went and Googled some of her stuff and I found a clip where she says, this. You must not be scared to come and tell me, Hori. One of you did one, two, three. We are not protecting human beings in the EFF. We are protecting the people and this organization because it's the only thing we have. Tina, it's the only thing we have. As well as you are in the EFF, you are in the EFF. So I have to go to my university. I have to go to my university. I have to go to my university. Because we had to fight. Now, this, this thing of an organization coming before the people is, I don't like it because you forget that the people are the organization. You cannot separate the EFF from the people. You cannot separate the people from the EFF. Those things go hand in hand. This is the same thing. And Una Lady is a patriot of the EFF. I have no doubt in my heart that this woman loves the EFF. And I have no doubt in my mind that the EFF is at an advantage having people like a Wona lady. Very well spoken in terms of um, um, in parliament, uh, the contribution they make. I mean, she's, 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 she's a darling to watch when you hear her speak. Uh, she was recently at um, uh, Ben, what's Ben? Uh, uh, Ben's um, YouTube channel, Ben, Ben the white boy with the beanies. She was there defending uh, uh, the EFF against uh, this so-called white monopoly capitalists that are afraid of the EFF. You know how Ben tried to, to
to put it in out there but he was caught napping because he could not name one single white oppos uh, uh, one company organization that is in fear of the EFF listen to what Ben said the question that she, uh, uh, he asked and how she replied showing that she's totally um, devoted to defending the EFF image listen to this the way the EFF has presented itself has caused it to be received by a admittedly uh, white, mm -hmm. uh, but like powerful international business and corporate yeah. class as being of concern and a threat to business and corporate and the way things are done and international trade. Mm. So a lot of your guys' policies see it would seem as though if you came to power, that would cause a lot of corporate panic and maybe even divestment from South Africa. Wow, why which do you would... say that? Give me, give oh, no, me I more mean, I'm than just that. Asking. Give me, no, I'm but just give asking. me more than that because oh, you're because presenting over that. And over you're opining on that, right? No, I'm just reflecting the fact that over and over and, and over. And I'm saying I, I require business. a background on that reflection oh, because I, mean, I need to know what is the threat. Okay. Because no. I know expropriation of land without compensation mm. is not a threat. Okay. It is not a threat in some socialist countries as well. But the point I is... I know, for example, industrialization mm. is not a threat. And there's some point, there's some form of benefit as well. But then why well. is big business and capital fearful of the EFF if there's no threat? They are not fearful of the EFF. But then why do they keep saying that they are? Who is saying that? On business shows every single week. Which business, business is? Like, every single we can't, week for 10 years. That is important to say, to bring... Evidence, like, because now we're just opining on things that we're catching from the air, but we've never heard that sign of discourse. You've never heard from the businesses itself, business people, from the private sector itself, and business analysts. You've absolutely never absolutely not about it's land always expropriation. Political, it's always political analysts. Okay, it's like with issues pertaining. So yeah, Ben, such a nice, nice guy. I think I'm. I'm I follow his channel. Uh, I'm, I'm subscribed to his channel. Very good, informative channel, but. That's all I'm going to say. So um, we follow and listen to them in a in a careful and caution way. Let me rather say caution. Rather say caution. I'm using the word caution there. So Una Lady, when you watch that clip, you can see that she understands that no bad uh, publicity must come out in an attack of the, the, the EFF. She understands it clearly. Uh, so after releasing that tweet, apologizing because she was supposed to, she was meant, uh, she was made to issue a public apology for not attending that um, the parliament on the twenty first of February. Uh, so she understands what is going on here. So it, after that tweet, uh, she tried to defend her words you know telling people do not ride on my tweet stop uh, using my 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 tweet as a as a way of attacking the eff and all of that but i am telling you um it was it was a uh, a little bit too late for them so before i go into the response of the c uh, the cic about uh, this tweet of which is going to be a, a, a difficult conclusion for you, for some of you to watch as uh, EFF members. Um, let me just play something uh, of her speaking in Parliament. In Parliament, I love this lady. Eh? Such a nice lady. Such a nice young lady. Listen to this. The state of the National Hospital uh, in Bloemfontein is shocking, embarrassing, and the Minister of Health, the MEC of Health, and the officials in the departments must just bury their heads in shame because the patients in these hospitals are drinking contaminated water. They are bathing in cold water. The nurses wash their hands in dirty water. The nurses have to come with their own water from their own homes for them to drink in the workplace. And the very same nurses are expected to work in a clean and conducive environment when the same water that's meant to clean the place is already dirty. One of the many reasons why we have a completely collapsed health system is because we have failed to prioritize prevention and primary health care. And workers in the very same hospital have already reported this matter to the management. They've already reported this, uh, this issue to the department, and yet there has been no intervention. In fact, the fact that the Minister of Health has not intervened to date 
is in fact proof that our suspicion and our view that there is a group of people who deliberately demand and wait for our hospitals to fail, for them to come and bring here uh, misguided ideas on the NHI. There are people who depend on our people dying in public hospitals for them to make profit and money. In fact, we must just somehow resolve the fact that the ruling party must just say there must be a ministry of corruption so that you guys can just stop compromising our people and having to make money for the death of our people just so that you guys can make Honourable profit. Member, your time Thank is you. Now expired. Yeah, my lady is is um, is a plus for the EFF. Young, vibrant, energetic um, member of parliament, the youngest in the EFF when she joined a parliament, and now she is in a situation where she will continue maturing. So everyone was waiting with bated breath to see how is Julius Malema and other leaderships going to respond to this. And um, when I say I cringed when I saw Julius Malema's tweet, it's an understatement. It's an understatement to say I cringed when, when I saw that statement of Julius Malema. For him to say that tweet has forced our movement into a defensive stance. What are you defending yourself against? A, an, another person who knows the power of words is Julius Malema. For him yeah, to say we are forced, we are forced to take a defensive stance. And then he says um, it's distracting our members from the immediate task of door to door because they must now defend the movement from rubbish. You are distracting the members of the EFF and the, the movement because now members have to now defend the party from rubbish. He does not stop there. He then says, in situations where we have to or we must choose between individuals and organization, we must always prioritize the organization. My goodness, my people, do you understand that statement? Women in South Africa and all around the world are always looked down upon because of how God built them. The feminine power that they have. The masculine power always overlooks women. Now here we have a situation where I can see Julius Malema removing this lady from parliament. Number one. Number two. I am disappointed that the CIC did not take a posture where he showed this lady support and showed this lady, um, and showed the woman in the EFF that in the EFF we are considered, considering, uh, considered, or um, what's the better word I can use? We are aware of the different type of struggles that women might face or different type of challenges. And when it comes to the issue of birth, because you, you remember before a breakup, before a breakup, you'll find parties speaking to each other, two parties speaking to each other. And you'll find one party that says, I have done so much for you. I've went and bought you a car. I've, I'm paying um, rent for you. I'm taking care of the children for you. The, the person is saying those things not to, for you to acknowledge um, the work that they have done in that relationship, but just to show you the, the length they have went for that relationship to be intact. 
Now for the CIC, not, not choosing not to go and acknowledge and say, listen, what I would have expected from the CIC, the opening line is to say, now Lady Chihua is one of the best, one of the best parliamentarians we have in the EFF. Rightfully so, her commitment has been shown where she has put herself second to the to the organization to such an extent that this lady has worked even a day before giving birth. You need to applaud that type of thing. And then add to say our organizations that actually does not um, motivate that women must do that. It is her passion for the organization that made her do that. We are in support of women and we protect their, their well-being, especially during the trying times. You understand? He, he, the, the CIC missed that opportunity to win over women. Because remember, in the party itself, there are women that are still going to be pregnant in the future. Now she, Una Lady, has set a standard where she went to lay a uh, maternity leave a day before, a day before giving birth. That standard is too high. And the reason why she did it is because she felt like if she does not do it, she will look like she's uh, putting herself before the organization. Ladies and gentlemen, all the EFF members, and I know all, I, 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 every time I speak about Julius Malema, you guys attack me left and right on the comment section. This is undefendable. Calling the lady's situation rubbish is undefendable. She's in at a point that she must buy uh, two gazebos. What is the gazebos for? What on earth is the gazebos for? Why are we buying two gazebos? So on top of the apology, because if, if the organization comes out and says, listen, this lady has got a, a trend of missing parliament. She missed parliament on this day, on this day, on this day, on this day. She did not report it on this day, on this day. That is why we say that what she's doing is rubbish. It will be another situation. But that is not the case here. You know, if you have missed parliament once, and remember, this is the same parliament in the month of February when the EFF is, is, is uh, saying we're not attending the state of nation address. We're not, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. But when one lady who was not going to take part of parliament in terms of she was not going to deliver a speech it was the minister of finance that was delivering the speech why is it so important that she must uh, issue out a public apology what does that say about the EFF coming back to my point that do not completely trust politicians but of disappoint because in any situation that happens that I see I always put myself in the situation. What would I say? How would I feel if Una Lady was my wife? If Una Lady was my sister? If Una Lady was my mother? That child, when she grows up, she's going to see these videos. These videos are on the internet. She's going to say, so my mother was made to apologize publicly and buy two gazebos for coming to see me when I'm sick. And she, she did say that she handed over her child to the mother because she wants to run this course of making sure that she ushers the, the, the EFF into, into the union building, into parliament in, on the 29th of, 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 um, of, of, what, of May. The CIC, the message he wrote was completely insensitive to the situation i don't like it i'm going to say it because if some of you you have people that you can criticize and other people that you must not criticize and if you can put a woman 
a mother of a four-month baby and throw her under a bus by calling her situation a rubbish situation. And I'm telling you, she's not going to last in the EFF. Mark my words, you will watch this video back. She's not going to last in the EFF. She's not going to. They, they are waiting for the right moment to get rid of her. The EFF president is calling the situation rubbish. She says, he then ends and says, in a situation where we have to choose between the organization and an individual, we must by all means prioritize the organization. Is thinking that you're going to be in power forever in the EFF. What are the other EFF members saying? They will not say anything. Why? Judas Malema has already spoken. Mbuisa um, and who's got a wife, and who, what one? Who, uh, Floyd Shibambo, and others, Abo, Abo, uh, Dalimpofu, Dalimpofu, and uh, uh, they can't say anything, even if they disagree with the CIC. They can't, they won't challenge him. It's only us that can challenge him. Because in Asmangain, we make the politicians, they don't make us. What is the two gazebos for? What, what part of that message that she wrote is rubbish? How can you not hear the call, the call of crime from this lady from that message? And Usna lady, you have put the message out. We cannot ignore what we are reading. We cannot ignore it. Unfortunately, whether you meant it this way or that way, we're going to read and interpret it the way we see it. And I know in work situations, I work with a lot of women, that pregnancy uh, time and giving birth time is a very uh, sensitive period of their life. That is why she's pointing it out that I gave birth, I, 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 I went to maternity uh, one day before giving birth. It hurt her. I would expect the EFF to protect her and also send a message because I told you guys this thing is fake. Yeah, 50% women, 50% men or in the leadership structures. This is, it's fake. It's fake. Especially in the uh, uh, the ANC and all of this, like they're, they're just choosing any woman just to make that fifty percent, fifty percent male and female. It's 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 not by credit, but Una Lady is by credit, by the way. I'm not speaking about her. I, I'm just saying I don't like this thing of fifty percent whatever. Get in there because you are credible and you you deserve to be in there. Whether you are male, female, pink, green, yellow, alphabetical or whatever you are, it must be because you. You, you are competent to be in that position. Not because we have selected three males, now we need to select three females. No, I don't agree with that. But anyway, who am I? I'm not running an organization uh, of a political organization. I want to know what you guys have to say on the comment section. I want to know. I, I, and I know you're going to the Aki, you misunderstood the CIC when he said rubbish, he did not mean. Uh, you know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm waiting for, for those words, those comments on the conversation for you guys to defend the CIC by all means. It's fine. No problem. No problem. But I'm just saying from the, from the angle I'm watching, uh, women, all women in the EFF, has tipped this and marked this. And now they are waiting to see if... Uh, the, uh, because after... Uh, if she does not go before the elections, after the elections she's going, she can forget about being a member and she will be in podcasts after that saying, yeah, it is because of what I said on that letter that got me fired from the EFF. I promise you it's going to happen. I promise you it's going. There's no way it's not going to happen after what Julius Malema said. There is absolutely no way. It's past 12. My goodness. So yeah. Very disappointed from Julius Malema. It's not a good way. This is... Um, this is Julius Malema scoring an own goal. And other political parties are going to ride on this one. They're going to tell women, you don't need to go to the EFF. 
because you're going to have to work until a day before you give birth. They're going to they're going to ride on this one. You're going to speak bad about Judas Malema, but anyway, that's all I had to say. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, some okay, I, I did tell you guys yesterday on the live thing that we have we are done registering Paseta. Paseta is now a registered entity, the Pan African School of Economics, Technology, and Agriculture is officially registered. We are busy with the Department of Ag uh, of the education and um, also doing the trademark thing so that nobody must steal our name. And then after that, we do the bank account. Then after the bank account, we publish everything. Then we do the feasibility study, the drawing, the uh, what you call the 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 viewing of the land then telling you guys this is the classes we how many classes we want to build this is where we want to build the school then we go for a drive throughout africa i'm hoping i can travel throughout africa in in securing funding for this school so that's what we're going to do in the in the after the elections after we, we run uh, our course because we need to build our school baseta needs to be a school that is live and active here in South Africa and then branch out to the other African countries to make sure that Pan-Africanism spirit is not lost in the coming generation. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. After you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in Pan-Africanism. I salute you. Black Heart, the hustle continua. 100% good quality t-shirts made to inspire you. Goals and Dreams T-shirts are now available at an affordable price. Place your order now. 068-473-6908 Instagram at Black7576 Facebook page Black Heart